Now if I go into my folder, you'll see this eCover2 popped up. So if I double click on that and look at it, you'll see my eCover popped up. So let me close this out and let me open the eCover Studio software. So now I've got the eCover Studio software. This is the software that makes it into a nice ebook cover. So if I select a project type, you'll see I can make a cover that looks like this. I can use a CD box. And I'm just scrolling through them because you can make all of these using your simple basic cover. So I'm just scrolling through them without really explaining them too much. And you can have these little virtual CDs sticking out of them, the spiral notebook. You can make like a membership card, or you can just do anything you want, a custom where you play with all the variables and make the urine size that you like. Now on this wide software box, you'll see here's the front image, and there's also a side image. So if you make one of the projects that requires a side image, you'll have to make a narrower rectangles for your side image. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go for a plain book cover. So you only need the front image for that. So if we go to select template, just skip that for now. You don't really need it. Go to the front image and let's load a background. Now here's the current background by default. It's, it's the one that they have already in there. But if you go to load background, now let's go to our eCover project and here's the folder. So the eCover project select your eCover2, the image you saved and you'll see it populated in here. After you put your rectangle in there just hit this button, adjust background proportions and now it just made your file the exact size that it needs to be. So now it's the background. Now we're almost done. For side image, the side image in this project, if we look at the project type, the side image for this one isn't really even used. So we can just keep using their side image you can also create your own side image but for now I'm just gonna ignore that because if we look at this project type we'll see that the side image isn't even used the side image would be used on the spine of the book so if I rotated the book the spine would be the side image but for now we just need the front image and it's in there I've already hit adjust background proportions now we go to render and it'll tell me it'll show me the rough draft and there's different layouts so you go to the presets I can change its orientation and let's just save it like that you can play there's a lot of different you can rotate this thing all around different amounts of degrees this is just the rough draft when I select best rendering quality it's gonna take its time it's gonna take you know 30 seconds to a minute depending on how big your image is so as we're waiting for this thing to render you can see how it's just all jagged around the edge for the rough draft. Well, it's going to be nice and crisp and clean when you make the final image. So I'll see you in just a second when the rendering is complete because I'm going to save your time and mine by editing that out. So now the render is complete and this is what the cover looks like. And you can see it's a nice looking cover and I just slap this one together obviously you're gonna take your time to make your cover even nicer looking so we go to save image and file format just use JPEG you can also use bitmap but I like to use JPEG and here this slider if you wanted to diminish some of the quality if you notice this ebook cover is a little duller than this one but this one is a 76 percent quality and it, it actually makes the file size smaller so you do want to lower the quality enough just to make it a smaller file so that the pa web pages load faster and you almost can't tell the difference between these two but you can see that the one on the right this one right here is a 61 percent quality so the file size is a lot smaller so now I want to go ahead and save it and it asked me where I want to save it let me call this e cover 3 and if I hit save go into my folder select eCover 3 and there's the cover now I could also go into my editing software and I could trim it a little bit because you can see there's this white background around it so I might want to trim it so that it's you know not as much space on the outside as this but you can see it made the nice ebook cover with the shadow and there's other features in there as well but I'll let you play with the software yourself 
So as you can see, it didn't take very long at all to make an e-cover. You'll spend a little more time trying to come up with, with this style of the front picture on what the e-cover is actually going to look like. Once you've gotten that, it's real quick just to make it into a nice looking ebook cover. And if you're interested in getting the eCover Studio software, I've got the link already linked up for you right underneath where you see my cursor. You'll see a link uh, linking to the eCover Studio software. So uh, if you're interested, you can go pick it up and it's, it's a pretty cheap software to use. So that's how you make an ebook cover.